You've got to be disciplined with your anger. You've got to be disciplined with your focus, with your vision. You've got to be disciplined. And when you're disciplined long enough, you take the step from discipline to habit. Because sometimes discipline isn't enough, is it? You've seen people at New Year's Eve, right? They get all fired up, motivated about losing some weight. Bikini season's coming, right? And then all of a sudden you say, you know what? I'm motivated. I'm going to lose that weight. This is going to be the year. I'm going to drop that 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds. I'm going to be swole like Coach Brent walking around looking. Big hot daddy swole. And then you get into the weight room for a little bit. And you hit the weights. And you start to build some discipline. You wake up early. And then all of a sudden, you're like, well, you know, I need, to, I need to reward myself. I need a cheat day, right? You've had this great diet. You've been disciplined on your diet. But it, you haven't stepped up from discipline to habit. You've just been disciplined. You get a cheat day, and then all of a sudden, you go and have that honey bun or seven, right? You, you scroll down to the donut shop. You get a couple dozen donuts and some apple fritters for me, myself, and I. And all of a sudden, you realize sugar's a hell of a drug. You get addicted to the sugar. And next thing you know, that discipline has faded, and the motivation is gone because you never made it a habit. I mean, we got to understand, if we want to keep taking the steps every single week, going from 32 to 16, 16 to 8, 8 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to only 1. If we want to keep stepping up, we can't just be motivated. We can't just be disciplined. We've got to let our discipline become a habit. Can I tell you what the Bible says? Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. He said, listen, I don't have to do this. He said, but I beat my body. I make my body a slave, right, for something great. You know that every runner runs in races, and they run to win. And he challenged, he says, run in such a way that you would win the race. He said, but don't run for something that is perishable. Run for something that is imperishable, something that is much greater than a trophy or a title. Run to glorify God. And to do so, you can't just be motivated. You can't just be disciplined. You've got to step up and make that discipline a habit. You've got to recognize that where you're going is much greater than where you are today. And when you understand that key fact, that where you're going is much bigger, much more valuable than where you are, then all of a sudden you can move, you can step up past the motivation. You can step up and be disciplined even when you want to be lax. And then your discipline can move to habit. And it becomes standard operating procedure. And when you get it in the game of football, then all of a sudden it becomes true in the game of life. And when you get punched in the face in life, you say, man, I've been getting punched in the face since week 12, since week one, since off season. And I've been punching back ever since. You get in life all of a sudden, you recognize that the goal of being a great husband or father, being someone who can make an impact in this world, is much greater than where you're at making some money or having a good social profile. And so then you move from motivation to discipline, discipline to habit, and that habit changes your life because it's not what you believe, but it's what you do that changes. And so, men, as we step onto the field tonight, I want to challenge you with two words. I want to challenge you to step up. Not because I want you to get a big trophy, not because I want you, your mom or your dad to give you a big hug and take another team picture for like the 17th time, like your 17th senior photo this season, but because I want you to live what I believe about you. I want you to live into what coaches believe about you. I want you to live into the reality that you are worth fighting, that you deserve to be here because you've earned it. I want to challenge you to step up and take the next step. And when you believe, it'll change the way you act. And when you change the way you act, and you keep stepping up week after week, and it'll change your lives. Man, I'm proud of you. I'm thankful to be on this journey with you. When we step out on the field, let's step up to that next round. Let's have a good one. Coach